Ed Spilliers is an actor who's been receiving a ton of love from fans. Why? He's Reese Montrose in the newest version of the hit Netflix TV series You, and Jack Crusher in the latest final season of Star Trek Picard. Both roles have made him recently rise in fame almost overnight, with each show beginning in February. Naturally, there are a ton of new fans of the show who want to know everything about Ed Spilliers. So who is he? How did he get his start in acting and what was his experience on hit shows like Outlander and Downton Abbey like? Find out right here, right now. Here's everything fans didn't know about Ed Spilliers. First off, let's talk career. How did he get into acting? And what was his debut role like? Well, his very first roles were school plays and musicals, if you want to get technical. That's right, Spilliers was a total theater kid. He performed in productions throughout his school life, such as A Midsummer Night's Dream and Richard III. When he was attending Eastburn College in Sussex, he wrote a play that ended up being performed there. Pretty cool, right? His very first professional role was in a film you likely haven't heard of, but it was the lead role in the movie adaptation of the popular children's book Aragon. Needless to say, he had pretty humble beginnings. We didn't do so well. You can thank Brom for the saddle. But during his career, he's done some incredibly impressive work, and has even co-produced a short film. In his early years though, he mostly spent his time auditioning for bigger roles while working on short films and even managed a few notable roles, though nothing like where he is now. Speaking of notable roles, did you know that he auditioned for Peter Pavensi starred in the Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe? That's quite surprising. Obviously, he didn't get the role, but can you imagine if he had? The movie would probably be a whole lot different. Anyway, the real magic started when he got the role of Jimmy Kent in the hugely successful TV series Downton Abbey. It was a recurring role and exactly what his career needed to become what it is today. He came back for three seasons and fans absolutely loved his character. It was right around then that things started to pick up for him in his career. He was in a few more films here and there, but nothing too notable, yet. Then, in March 2014, it was reported that Spilliers was one of five actors who was being considered for the role of a lifetime. A lead role in Star Wars The Force Awakens. Unbelievable, right? Unfortunately, as we know, he didn't make the cut. And we never got to see what the film would be like with him as the lead. But don't worry, there's plenty of intergalactic experience in his future. More on that in a minute. Next, he was on a few BBC shows for a while and did some more work on small budget films and other small projects. Then, he scored a supporting role in the live action Alice Through the Looking Glass, directed by Tim Burton. Remember that short film I mentioned he had co-produced? Yeah, he made it in around 2017 and it was nominated for a British Academy Film Award. Impressive, right? But then, something unpredictable happened. And if you're a fan of Ed Spilliers, you probably know what's coming. He scored a recurring role in seasons 4 and 5 of Outlander as Stephen Bonnet, an Irish smuggler and pirate. Sticky situation at the beginning of series 4. We find him on the way to the gallows. And then he intertwines himself with Jamie and Claire. How many men have you killed in commission of your crimes, Mr. Bond? To this day, this is one of his most significant roles and where a lot of his fans first saw him on screen. Since then, he landed the role of Jack Crusher in the Picard Star Trek series. Told you we would go back to space. And, of course, his latest series is his role in You. You had to go and touch Marianne. This won't be fun. But I'm only interested in getting... Anyway, remember that first role he got for Aragon? Well, did you know that he landed that role when he was just 17 years old? That's pretty young to be starting out in professional acting, and his career has only gotten more impressive. Since his first role in 2006, he has been in over a dozen films, shorts, and television shows. Moving on, let's talk about his exciting new role as Reese in You. His character is described as very dry and cheeky at times. He's a bit stuck up but wasn't raised rich. He's an author who published a memoir that gave him a lot of media attention. And with that came the pressure to start a career in politics. According to lead actor Penn Badgley, he lived a traumatic early life before he came into money, going to Oxford and making all the right friends. 
His character in the show is definitely interesting, and as the show goes on, we learn more and more about him and his way of thinking. I just, why can't you see that? Why can't you see me the way I see you? I love you! Which is something that Spaliers loves about acting. He said in an interview with People that he's drawn to roles that find a way to push the envelope, as he enjoys finding more ways to understand the complexities of human beings. Which makes sense, considering that he's typically cast in roles that are mysterious and have a bit of intrigue to them. He went on to say that he feels it's important for him as an actor to take himself out of his comfort zone and try his best to really understand their minds to play the part better. It's always interesting to see what actors have to say about how they get into the minds of their characters, isn't it? Spalier says that he finds the whole process completely and utterly fascinating, which is probably why he's so drawn to acting. Despite his interest in acting at a young age and being from England, Spaliers didn't study acting while in school. Surprising, right? In fact, he has said that he regrets his decision to not study acting as some of his other British peers did. He says that it would have been nice, especially coming from England, to study the art of acting while at university. If you already knew that fact, you're a true fan. But this one may be a little less well known. Did you know that Ed Spaliers is married? Yup, he's married to wardrobe director Asiya Macy and they have two children together. I mean, I, I've got two beautiful children, so they, they help they help sort of calm things down. Um, but it, yeah, it's not easy. Go for a run with a dog helps. Um, but you know, you have to also just... They aren't very public about their relationship besides going to red carpets and events together, so it's unclear when they first met. Some of Macy's work includes Downton Abbey from 2012, Into the Woods from 2014, and The Lady in the Van from 2015. Also, did you know that he's a huge soccer fan? Yeah, besides his interest in TV and film, he also really loves watching soccer and says it's a huge part of his life. And here is Harry Kane for Tottenham! Oh, what a goal! His favorite team is the Tottenham Hotspur Football Club, which is a professional football club from Tottenham, London, England. This is Lennon. Where's he going with it? He's looking for Gareth Bale! Oh, what a strike! He says that he's constantly searching Google for all the latest updates about the teams and what the latest plays were. Isn't it sweet how obsessed he is with the team? Pass, it's Jamie Donnelly who he links up with here. Nice delivery, and here's Rio Kaimaitan, and there's the opening goal after just three minutes. He should get to meet them or something. If you want to see more of Ed Spaliers, you can watch him now on season 4 of You, which is now streaming on Netflix. He plays quite a big role. It might just be his biggest role yet. Given he's gotten so many new fans recently, I would say this show completely transformed his career for the better. How much did you already know? After watching this, you're definitely a true fan. Anyways, that was everything that fans didn't know about Ed Spaliers. 